us have dealt with that. And particularly if you're like me, a, a sensitive guy, um, as a child, maybe you heard your parents argue and it was just healthy argument, but yet as a child, you see everything around you and all of the marriages around you crumbling. Some of our children hear us in a healthy way arguing or, or uh, discussing something that might be a little bit heated and, and there's something in them that rises up with fear. So this is a, a topic where I believe God is going to speak. And before we get started, I'd like for John Bronson to give his testimony as a parent who had a child and, and then he went through a divorce. John Bronson. I think I realized how emotional um, that whole divorce thing is. Even after several years of being divorced, so before BC stands for before Kathy, um, which is my current wife, um, I was married. Um, we have a 30-year-old daughter, Carly, who's here with us today. Thank you, Carly, for being here. We were married for about six and a half years, and um, um, but we only lived together for about half of that time. I apologize for my voice. I'm just getting it back after losing it for a couple of days. Um, my daughter was six, I think, uh, when the divorce was finalized. Um, our relationship had uh, lots of up and downs, um, uh, a lot of challenges. Uh, when I reflect back on that time, um, it was clear that I was Myself, I was clueless as to how to nurture a loving, lasting marriage relationship. My attitudes <coughs> included being chauvinistic, bullheadedness, immaturity, and a quick temper. In my defense, I was half the problem. We, the truth is, is that we both uh, needed to grow up in so many ways. Uh, the marriage really wasn't right from the beginning as we look back. And um, neither one of us were Christ followers. Um, and I, I, not, I don't mean at all to play the blame game. I'm not certainly not blaming her, uh, but I need to stand up for my role in the relationship. Uh, the common constant thing uh, between us obviously was our daughter Carly though, and um, we both loved her with all our hearts. Um, but um, the first time my, my wife left me, she took Carly with her. Um, she didn't move that far, but Carly was no longer with me at the time. Um, made me very angry. Um, and it, my focus then at the time was um, to make sure Carly knew that I was her, that I was her father, you know? Um, that I'd be there for her and for any reason at any time. And um, my focus was more on Carly um, and not trying to mend the relationship and the marriage. Um, but after a while, uh, things changed a little bit and um, I began to change my focus and start to try to mend the marriage. Um, and all the while, you know, just making sure that, you know, my foot was always in the door with Carly. Um, 
I mentioned that there was another man in the picture um, that I took as a threat to that mending of the relationship um, and a stumbling block to us working out our marriage. Um, Carly was young. I don't recall her showing any characteristics of concern at the time other than I'm sure she was confused in different ways. She was too, about two years old to three years old, maybe. And, uh, but we did eventually reconcile and got back together. Um, we bought a house and, um, and, uh, but after a while, things started deteriorating again. And um, so we, um, in a similar situation than the last, that she left, it ended up she leaving, and um, and then you know, taking Carly with her. And again, she wasn't far, but I was just wanting to make sure that I was at least showing Carly that I was dedicated to her. Um, at some point, her mother made a decision to leave the state and bring Carly with her, and that was her plan. Um, she was going to take employment in Arizona, and um, that was a very difficult time for me to ponder. And um, I was beginning my journey on seeking out God and what he wanted for me and my role in my daughter's life and for that matter my my wife's life at the time um, and um, I eventually agreed to allowing her to, to leave the state with Carly and um, go to that new employment in Arizona um, it she did do that, indeed, and um, that employment didn't last that long. It didn't last too long, and um, then it led her to another employment in California. And um, that, too, did not last but maybe a couple of months or so. Um, and then um, she moved in with her sister in Mississippi shortly after that um, before things making a turn and then she came back to Florida. So these four moves were in a, about a four month period of time. Um, all of, you know, so all the while I, you know, trying to keep in touch and, and hearing of, of relationships kind of breaking and stuff and, and moving was from a remote standpoint very very hard um, and I didn't you know I had no control over the situation other than to try to stay in touch and um, but uh, her mother did move back to Florida and um, and I just had to have the faith that God was going to work this out somehow or another um, but that's when I really started really seeking out spiritual guidance. Um, my current wife, Kathy, is started working um, in the same office that I work at. And um, she was a Christ follower and I was not. Um, but we started hanging out together and, um, along with another uh, workmate. Uh, another Christian friend, and um, and they both, they they both were instrumental in leading me towards Christ, and uh, my love for my daughter uh, is a great. Um, though her mother, main, you know, Carly's mother maintained physical custody. I was always there as a support, and. Um, and we worked out a deal where I would go every Wednesday and pick her up for dinner. We'd go out to dinner. I'd have her custody of her every other weekend. And um, took her to daycare and pre-K and that sort of thing. 
Uh, Carly got to know Kathy and, and my other friend Diane uh, quite well and seemed to get along with them both. Um, when the divorce was finalized, I moved back from the land, back to Lake County here. Um, and we, we maintained the same relationship. I would, every Wednesday, I would go get Carly for dinner and then uh, every other weekend, uh, she would spend with me. And uh, trying to keep up with her schooling and her teachers and occasionally I would volunteer in her classes. <clears throat> and uh, and then we also worked out a deal where uh, Carly would come stay with me during the summertime. Um, Kathy, who was my friend at the time, was just as strong a supporter of Carly as I was. Um, and I found throughout this entire time that really God was working on me uh, over time. Um, found myself praying all the time and asking God to show me uh, just how to navigate and um So now I was in Lake County, I just, some of the challenges was distance, you know, going over there and during the week, um, I maintained that as, as much as possible through my work, that I would dedicate myself to that time, and certainly the weekends with Carly, uh, with me. Um, so, you know, what do you do, you know, you, you love your, child and you can't be with her all the time and you show them as much love as you can when you do have the time with them and um, uh, I mentioned that her mother had a boyfriend at the time and though I felt threatened by the man he was never a threat to me in any other way. In fact, he let me know several times that he was supporting me as her father. And I'm eternally grateful to him for that. Kathy's and my relationship uh, got deeper and better. And Carly was with me when I proposed. She was nine years old. And, uh, yeah, but afterwards, I uh, think um, After about a year, um, we were allowed uh, full custody of Carly through her seventh grade year. Uh, her eighth grade year, she went to live back with her mom. And then uh, in ninth grade, we were granted full custody for the rest of her high school years. And uh, we're all, we're truly grateful for that. Um, and I, I just, I, I can't help but to just thank God daily that, that he allowed us to to have her through those high school years. Those are very difficult times. And uh, I consider my situation uh, with a broken first marriage, the pain and hurt and emotion that goes along with all of that to have been better than so many that I, I know and I've heard about. And I know that probably most everybody here can relate to that and hearing the stories, the horror stories of relationships, and especially where children are involved. Uh, my ex-wife and I have tried very, very hard to work together to be a full support. Uh, I'm remarried.
married to Kathy. She's remarried, and Carly has four parents that love her with all their heart. And um, so she's got, she's got kind of a double family, but um, though there was heartache and break, um, she has parents who love her very, very much. The difficult thing is to deal with all of your differences and still support each other as parents, knowing that though it may have started with only two, and those two have now split, work together as a team to uh, to get through it, because it's, it's very, very hard, very difficult. And I'm eternally thankful for having going through that because I'm a better husband to my current wife. And um, had I not had that relationship before, I wouldn't have known how to be a better husband. 